a brand new Android TV box. This is the Formula GTV. And guess what, guys? This is running official Google Android TV OS along with your Google Assistant and your Chromecast. Very interesting box from a very interesting brand. Let's quickly run through the specs. So this box is powered by the S905X2 quad core along with the Mali G31. You've got two gigs of LPDDR4 RAM, 16 gigs of eMMC storage, dual band Wi-Fi AC with dual antennas built in. You've got Bluetooth version 5, gigabit LAN, Android TV OS version 10. And that means you do have Google Assistant and Chromecast built in. Now this does support HDMI 2.1 and you do have Widevine level one certification. This supports 4K 60 FPS with HDR 10 plus and this does support Dolby Audio along with DTS HD and comes with a Bluetooth voice remote. Now quick look at what you get inside the box. So we've got a user manual, HDMI cable, 12 volt power supply, an infrared extension cable, now this is just an optional cable in case you were gonna hide the box behind the TV or something. Um, so it's there if you need it. You're getting two AA batteries and that is for the included Bluetooth remote control. That's right guys, this is a Bluetooth voice remote. You can see the Google Assistant button right there. Last but not least, the TV box itself. So the box is quite compact in size. It's got minimalistic design. Just the Formula logo printed on the top. Uh, nothing on the front. On the side you have a single USB 3 port. On the back of the unit you've got power socket, HDMI 2.1, gigabit LAN and the infrared receiver port. And on the other side you have another USB 2 port. So that brings us back to the front and this is what the bottom of the box looks like. So this has to be the first time I'm seeing Android TV OS coming from this brand. So I'm quite excited to see how that functions, especially with the My TV Online software. So if you're already paying for your own internet TV streaming package, um, you can just log in and this will give you a very user-friendly experience. So without any further ado, I'm gonna get this all hooked up and we are gonna find out exactly how good the Formula GTV actually is. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 29 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. And this is of course Google's Android TV OS version 10 with everything conveniently placed on one page for a user-friendly experience. The layout and all the shortcuts can be customized to your own personal preference. And if I compare this to Android TV OS version 11, I actually like version 10 better because it has less adverts, less featured sections, and therefore it actually feels faster because there's less stuff to load. Now let's head over to the main system settings, go to device preferences and check out the system storage info. Now this TV box has 16 gigs of internal storage from which there are 10 gigs free to use. Now if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this is running Android TV OS version 10. And here's a quick look at the kernel and build numbers. Now what's important for me when I'm using Android TV OS is to make sure the Chromecast is working. And you can see GTV has in fact come up. So if I tap that, we should connect to YouTube. And as you can see, the video is playing back fine and you can play and pause that video and control everything from the phone. So Chromecast is working as it should, which is definitely good news. I'm gonna give you guys a quick skim through the settings to see if there's any new features that's uh, worth talking about. So quickly have a look in display settings. You've got screen resolution and you can see the current settings 4K at 60 Hertz. You've got screen positioning and HDR policy. I have it on adaptive or you can have it on always, but adaptive is probably the best option. And here are your HDMI CEC options. You've got CEC switch, one key play, one key power off and auto change language. A quick look at sound settings. Here are some of the compatible sound formats. Google Assistant and Chromecast is of course built in to Android TV OS. So we've got screensaver options here. Okay, if we keep going, power key behavior, sleep and shutdown. So that is pretty much all your main settings. So here are all my favorite apps that got downloaded for me automatically whilst I was setting up the box. Some of the apps that came as standard was My TV Online 2, which is Formula's software for internet TV and that software is one of the best you can get for internet TV. We've even got a formula remote app and I wanna quickly show you that so you can customize your remote. And if you see behind, we actually have the GTV BT1. So that's the remote we have. 
um, that is a Bluetooth remote control. It has a built-in microphone, Google Assistant button, etc. So if I select it, this is what you can do. So you can see the remote is connected, current firmware, battery life. You can set up hotkeys or you can set up TV IR control. So you can control your television functions with this remote as well. And it's easy to set up from within the smartphone app. You can see that a firmware update is available for the remote control. I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to let it update that firmware. So the firmware update has now completed. All right, so you can actually set up hotkeys. So these four colored buttons and these three buttons at the bottom can be customized. So click on set up hotkeys and you can see all the hotkeys on the side. And check out the customization options. You can have single tap, double tap, or long press. So for example, I want to customize the red button. So if I, if I select red button and scroll down, I want YouTube to open every time I press the red button. So I have now selected YouTube. You can see it says YouTube here. So if I back out of it, every time I press the red button, YouTube will open. I'll show you that working in a bit. So a very nice remote included and great customization options. This box also supports OTA updates. So if you click on formula update, it will check the version. And there you can see the information for the latest firmware that we are currently on. Now, when I first turned this box on, um, there were at least two or three firmware updates that I had to do. So it's good to know that OTA updates will be regular and you can see the change log on this side with the dates. Now, one of the first things I wanna test is screen mirroring. Now, I didn't install this, Air Screen came pre-installed. Air Screen is basically screen mirroring for your iOS device. Swiping down, tap on screen mirroring and you can see it says the ASGTV AirPlay. So if I tap that, you'll see what happens. So as you guys can see, iOS screen mirroring working absolutely fine with minimal lag. Also tested the same thing with an Android phone and screen mirroring for Android is not supported with this app. And also if you go to air screen settings and tap on Miracast, you will see it actually says it there, your operating system does not allow this function to be enabled. So Android does not allow a third party application to use Miracast since Android Oreo, since Android 8. So that means this box supports screen mirroring for iOS only, and you have Chromecast, which works for both iOS and Android. And some of the other apps that came pre-installed, Google Duo, Facebook, Watch, Spotify, Google Play Movies, and then the Play Stores were all pre-installed. Um, the rest of them were my favorite apps, including the two games that I use for testing. Now, if we open up the Play Store, I wanna show you that this is the official Android tvOS version of the Play Store. So it's a limited version. So this version of the Play Store will only give you apps that are optimized for Android TV. So quite a few apps will be missing. And one of the main ones that, that you're gonna miss is Netflix. So as you can see, Netflix doesn't come pre-installed and it's not available from the Play Store to download. If you wanna use Netflix, you're gonna to have to sideload it. But fortunately, Amazon Prime Video, YouTube, Google Play Movies, and Disney Plus are all included. You can download them. They are available from the Play Store. Um, Netflix, you're gonna to have to sideload. So I will be testing Netflix out in a bit, and we're gonna see whether it works or not. All right, so I've just connected an eight gigabyte NTFS formatted drive. The drive was formatted in Windows, and as you can see, I can access all the files, and it's working absolutely fine. So yes, this TV box does support NTFS formatted drives, along with FAT32 as well, um, and even XFAT formatted drives from Mac, they all work fine too. So now I'm gonna play some 4K video samples from a USB drive, and we're gonna do that from the Movie Player app. So let's begin with the usual high bitrate 4K Jellyfish demo. So this one is 160 megabits per second, and as you can see, it's actually struggling to play. Um, so it is quite stuttery, it's not smooth as it should be. So, so high bitrate 4K is gonna struggle on this box. So for the next test, we're playing 4K at 60 FPS with HDR. And this video is playing back smooth and nice as expected. Moving on now to the YouTube test, and I wanna open YouTube using my remote control. So I'm gonna press the red button that we've already programmed earlier pressed it and YouTube's open. And that's pretty instant as well, it was quite quick. Another thing I wanna test is try opening YouTube with my voice. So Google Assistant button right here, here we go. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. 
and there you go, YouTube's open. So what's nice about this remote is you don't have to keep the mic button press. Just press it once, mic is active, clearly open to YouTube, absolutely fine. So let's go ahead and play a few trailers, but I'm gonna start off with the 4K Costa Rica demo. And as you can see, maximum resolution supported, 4K 60 with HDR. So we're streaming 4K 60 on YouTube and that's with HDR active. And you can see zero dropped frames, it's playing back nice and smooth. So I'll play a few more trailers. We need calm. The world needs that. To stop what's coming. Future. You have two choices. You can be the destroyer of this world. To get Netflix, you can sideload it from USB or any other method that you know of, uh, but I just find it easier to download Aptoid TV. So after installing both versions of Netflix, the Android TV version actually shows up under the app drawer, but the other one doesn't. So you need the sideload launcher in order to access it. But first of all, let's test out the Android TV version of Netflix. Let's see if it works. This version of Netflix app is not compatible with your device. So error code, we're not gonna be able to use the Android TV version of Netflix. Now let's check out the second version. So you need side load launcher, scroll down, look for the Netflix icon and open it up. This is a tablet version of Netflix and it uses a touch screen to navigate. So when you use the regular remote, as you can see, it doesn't work. So I've attached a wireless mouse and you can see it works fine. So maximum resolution supported on Netflix, 540p SD quality. And Amazon Prime Video does actually support 4K HDR. And of course, Disney Plus supports 4K Ultra HD with HDR10. Moving on to the gaming test, starting off with Asphalt 8. So one of the key highlights and advantages of this TV box is the software. My TV Online 2 software specifically comes pre-installed and it supports OTA updates so it will regularly um, update itself accordingly. So if you have an internet TV package you can sign in and it will give you easy access to all your channels um, and it's quite user friendly to use. So for your advanced users DRM info shows Google Widevine level 1. And here is ADA64 where you can check out the clock speeds. You can see we are running the Mali G31 and this box is indeed running Android tvOS version 10. And in the Wi-Fi speed test we achieved download speeds of 63 and upload speeds of 19 megabits per second. And this is typically the top speeds we achieve in our office. And here are the results for the internal disk speeds. We achieved 147 read and write speeds of 29 megabytes per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks beginning with Geekbench multi-core score of 433 and single core score of 134. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved 87K. So let's see how that compares with the others. So this is my top Android TV box chart for 2022. The ranking is based on Antutu benchmark scores. So higher the benchmarks equals higher ranking. But higher benchmarks does not necessarily mean it's a good box. Therefore, I've added a color-coded rating system so you can see exactly what I think of each box with a rating out of five. So as you can see, the Formula GTV TV box has taken position 15 on this chart with a benchmark score of 87K. And I've given this box an overall rating of 4.5 out of five. So there you have it guys, that was the new Formula GTV. And here are my thoughts on this box. 
Now I really like this box. It has Android TV OS version 10 and that was my last favorite version of ATV. Now I'm worried they might update it to 11 in the future but as it stands no doubt ATV 10 is the best. And this is official Android TV OS with Google Chromecast and Google Assistant built in. And guess what guys, it's not eight gigs of storage. This one actually comes with 16 gigs of storage. And that's quite rare when it comes to official ATV boxes. Also two gigs of RAM is certainly better than one gig. But saying that I do feel for 2022, at least four gigs of RAM should be standard by now. So we have a smooth and fast experience throughout. This box supports 4K HDR streaming at 60 Hertz across all apps, including third party apps, but just Netflix has issues and you do need to sideload Netflix and then you get only 540p. Nice 4K streaming box, performs well, gigabit LAN is a bonus and the remote control is a treat to use. So if the price is not an issue, this is a great overall box, which will offer you a very good Android TV OS experience. Um, with a great remote control and a great performance. Any questions, you guys know what to do. That being said, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.